Hi, this is Goggett. I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. I myself, I'm doing pretty good. And it's a beautiful day here in Tornado Alley, Texas. It's supposed to get up in the 60s today. All the snow is gone. And uh, it's just, uh, just a great day. Does, I wanted to make this video because it's, it's uh, a video of a really, really stupid thing that I did. And I wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, this morning, uh, I decided to make breakfast and I always make my sausage on on the grill because uh, like I say it just uh, to me it tastes has that outdoors taste what I like and I was uh, making the sausage on the Wrangler Jane and uh, which is known as the uh, Weber and I went went and uh, put the sausage on when the coal I uh, charcoal went out. I put the sausage on and uh, put the lid on it and uh, let it cook. Well, I came back and I noticed that the so the heat wasn't there. There was, a, uh, I mean, the heat had really dropped. And uh, when I was making these, it was uh, fairly cool outside. It was uh, probably uh, uh, in maybe the the 30. So. Anyway, the heat heat uh, drops, and I noticed my sausage wasn't cooking. So I'm like, "What could be the problem?" And I'll go ahead and show you what the problem was. Hopefully, this video will help somebody else out. And on the uh, Weber grills, it has a top vent and a bottom vent. And the reason why it wasn't getting the airflow is I forgot to open the bottom vent. That's right, old Scoggett forgot. Scoggett forgot to open the bottom vent, therefore uh, it wasn't getting any airflow. And just wanted to make this video, let, let maybe it'll help somebody out to always check the bottom vent uh, before you grill or uh, use your uh, Weber. And I always leave the bottom, the way I cook, I, I leave the bottom vent completely open and I control the heat from the top vent by moving it. It'll, uh, it'll move and might be a little bit still warm. But it, you can open it however you want, however far you want to control the heat. And that's what I failed to do. So I had to end up uh, uh, replenishing the charcoals and uh, adding a little bit more charcoal to get the heat back up to where it needs to be. But I, I got the breakfast done and the sausage, the sausage after I did that came out great and just wanted to let everybody know that that uh, sometimes even experienced uh, grillers and bar, uh, pe uh, smokers, you know, like people that smoke meat and barbecues, uh, they sometimes make mistakes. And Today I made one, and I've been been uh, smoking meat and and grilling since 1973. So there you go. Um, just uh, I thought there would be a kind of a fun uh, video for you know everybody to say, Ah, oh, Scoggett, come on, open the open the bottom vent. And I even went in and I told Mrs. Scoggett, Hey, I can't get the heat up. And she said, well, did you check the grill? Maybe maybe something's not right. And so got thinking and then uh, checked it and found out the bottom vent wasn't open. It was closed off completely. So this is Scoggett. I'm not going to go into any more detail. Just wanted to make this video. Thought it would be kind of fun to let everybody know that. Even experienced uh, grillers and uh, people that smokes meat all the time sometimes makes mistakes. This is Scoggett. I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And I uh, want to give a big shout out to my brother in Los Angeles, Mike Dobbs with Mick Cotton Barbecue. Just want to thank him. Hey, uh, thanks for the 60 degree weather you sent me. I'm loving it. 60 degree weather all the way from Los Angeles to Lubbock, Texas. This is Scoggett. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there, and y'all take care.